She had a terrible week. It was a terrible week for the Harris this, this campaign. You had Gretchen Whitmer having to apologize to the Catholics across America for mocking them with some Dorito, bizarro Dorito. Is she crazy? At the same time, you have Barack Obama in Pennsylvania deriding, who, where he derided people who own guns. Remember, cling, people in Pennsylvania were bitter and they cling to guns and religion. Remember that in 2008? So they're trying to appeal to those folks at the same time while he alienates black male voters by chastising. So they had a really tough week this well, week. Yes, you might be thinking this is all. Wife of NFL player Devon is publicly doubling down on her supportive Donald Trump, citing that as a mom, she has to protect her children. Courage is contagious, so I hope other people follow her lead. She is not afraid of the backlash. She made it clear on this video, like you can see here. As a mama, I am voting to protect my kids in the future, so um, I'm okay with the, with the backlash. I think that she truly needs to look at herself in the mirror and realize that she is ill-equipped to be the next president of the United States. She cannot do an interview without stumbling her words. It's just really embarrassing. And it's not that I am against having a female president. I'm against having her as the next female president. Yes, Kamala campaign is drowning. This lady did this few days ago. And now she's apologizing after receiving massive backlash from Catholics. People change their minds after seeing that video. What exactly is going on with Kamala campaign? Kamala Monday just got worse. New CNN poll shows her is severely underperforming with black women compared to past Democrat nominee. Extremely concerning. And Kamala right now is accepting to have interview on Fox News because they realize things are extremely bad for her. If Kamala was winning in the polls, you will not see her going on Fox News. It is because Everything is drowning down and the mainstream media is now calling it the way it is extremely concerning. Before we go into this video, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. It will do you no harm if you share this video. So what are you going to do if Trump wins? Nothing. Nothing. Going on with my show and making jokes at his expense every week. And that's why this is a great country. Because as crazy as he is, he, you know, he didn't do anything about it the first time. So I'm just not going to lose my nervous system about Now, he could. He's insane. So he could, like, start sending people to Guantanamo Bay. I don't put anything past this guy. He thinks they're eating the cats and the dogs. But am I going to worry about it? First of all, I'm not going to worry about it, Phil, because he's not going to win. So you think he's just worn it out? You think yes. people are just going to get fatigued? Enough, enough. I just feel category fatigue. I mean, it's just going to be, we're talking about a few hundred thousand people perhaps, but I think it's going to be a little closer than that. First of all, she's definitely going to win the popular vote, as Democrats almost always do now. She, but I think she will win. I, I don't think, I think he will, of course, go batshit insane, as he always does. He won't accept it. Um, his followers, I think, will will, I don't think their heart will really be in it as it was in 2020. Some of them, there's lots of people who will always be in the bunker with Mrs. Goebbels taking the poison and giving the poison to the children because it's better than living in a world without national socialism. I make an analogy, but I don't say he's a Nazi. But um, I think for most people, it's just fatigue. Yes, I think it's time. Yes, this same Bimaha panicking a few days ago, like Kamala cannot win, is now sitting here with Dr. Phil saying this. It is insane. Sometimes when I look at this man, the mainstream media have seen it like they have never seen something like this. Trump is nearly dominating this lady in all the polls. Bimaha is still having the gods to say these. It's 25 days before the election, and I gotta say, it's not looking that great for the Democrats. I mean, uh, this is not a good sign, you know, when you have an African-American candidate, you probably shouldn't be having to shore up your support among black men, but that's what's going on. Tim Walls is headlining a voter engagement event tonight with black men. Uh, who better to connect with young black men than Tim Walls? <laughs> 
uh, new polls are out, and it doesn't look good for Kamala Harris. Uh, I have not been this worried in a long time. Yes, Trump makes gains as polls figure trigger anxiety for Harris' campaign. When you take a look at this, you can clearly see how Libras are having sleepless night because of this. At this crucial point, we are left with few days. Look at what Democrats are experiencing. And, and sometimes there's a trend line that I never noticed before and make me go, whoa, this is one of them. All right, this is the Democratic margin among black men under the age of 45 in presidential elections. You go back to November of 2012, what do you see? You see Obama by 81. Clinton only won him by 63. Then we're all the way down to Biden last time around yeah. by 53. A tremendous drop already. And then you take a look at the average of the most recent polls, and Kamala Harris is up by only 41 points. That is about half the margin that Obama won them by back in November of 2012. And this, I think, is, you know, when Barack Obama goes in last week when he was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, essentially talking to young black men, he made it seem like it was a Kamala Harris-specific problem. Uh-uh. This should signal something to Democrat. A lot of black people don't believe in them again. What they used to imagine in the days of Obama is changing. When you take a look, it is dropping, 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 and going down. To a certain point, they will not even have support again. The Republicans will take over most of these people. Uh, this chart clearly tells you they are moving to the Republican side. Uh -uh. This is part of a long-standing yeah. trend of young black men moving away from the Democratic Party, and Kamala Harris is just the latest to face that magnitude of black, younger black men going towards the Republican. That was, was mo most interesting here is the trend line and where some of the biggest drops happened or already happened in this case. How about black men overall? How about black men overall? It's part of the same picture, you know. We're looking once again at younger black men. It looks like the worst Democratic performance since 1960, since JFK versus Richard Nixon. It's the same thing among black men overall. Again, part of a similar trend, but here actually the drop off isn't as dramatic, right? Barack Obama won him by 85. Then you see 71 with Clinton, 69. Biden, basically the same thing, holding steady. But here again, very, very weak. Only a 54 point margin. Now, again, Still winning them by a large margin, but considerably lower than what we're used to. Certainly considerably lower what we had during the Obama years. The bottom line is Kamala Harris with younger black men and then black men overall putting in historically weak performance for a Democratic Is candidate. she getting any relief with black women? All right. So, you know, we're talking about the trend line, right? And black women, look, she's doing better with black women than she is doing among black men. But here, there isn't a trend line almost until we get to Kamala Harris. So again, this is a black mar a margin among black women. Look, Obama won him by 93, a very large margin. Clinton won him by 93, a very large margin. Biden did a little bit worse at 85. But then you look here, and you get a 71-point margin. Now again, these are large margins. But the bottom line is, when you're talking about the base of the Democratic Party, you would think that Kamala Harris would do very well among black women based upon history. Yes, Kamala immediately went out to send a message that she will be giving $20,000 to black people for loans. You know, I don't get the point now. And they are already interpreting it like she's using it to buy votes. That is what I've seen. Why the past four years you could have advocated for that? Or maybe she never knew that she'll be running for president or what exactly. Now look at what is going on. Uh, you know, Whoopi, you always say you don't believe in polls. Mm. I'm with you now because I'm reading the press. First it was Kamala's not doing enough press. Then she goes on this huge press tour. She was here in, with us. I thought she was fantastic. She was energetic. The crowd went wild. It was electric. CNN, Democrats go anxious. Axios, blue wall blues. Fox, Dems are scared to death. No, Dems are not scared to death. Is it a good announcement? What exactly, please? I want you to know. Drop on in the comment section. Trump's running mate. Same reason you don't throw a birthday party for Diddy. Hey, you're calling yourself... Well, this is the problem. Holmes Enterprise. If you are over 18, please register to vote for something else. That's are now stepping forward. 18 before. Trump. I don't care if they write that. No, it was right, and you got... I'm going to shake it off. It's like 73% so they're voting for Trump. For Trump. Okay, yeah. Kamala, oh. You hired me four times.